Hi everyone, I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com and this is your weekly energy forecast for the week of March 31st. We are traveling through the eclipse portal. This is a very sacred time where we're moving in between two eclipses. You can kind of think of it as we're moving in between two different states of consciousness. We are kind of in a limbo period. So we had that uh, Libra full moon lunar eclipse on March 25th. And then we're working our way towards the April 8th total solar eclipse in the sign of Aries. These two markers represent two big points of transformation in our lives. Some of us may be feeling that transformation loud and clear, and for others it might be more subtle. But these are two pillars of transformation, and we're moving in between them. We're walking the bridge in between them. So we may be feeling a little bit confused, a little bit uh, lost, a little bit not sure how to think or not sure how to feel. We might be feeling a little bit uh, like we're stuck in a bit of limbo energy. And that's because we're sort of in this midst of transformation. We're kind of in that stage where the, uh, the caterpillar goes into the cocoon. It doesn't know what's happening. It's in this darkness. It can't really see. And then it's going to emerge as the full butterfly and realize, oh, wow, this is where I'm at now. So that is coming for all of us as we get closer to that solar eclipse happening on April 8th. So right now, this is a time for inner work, self-exploration, trusting the flow. If things have exited your life under that uh, Libra eclipse or in the last couple of weeks even, trust in that. If you're feeling some uh, uncertainty about where you're moving, know that certainty is coming. Know that we're shifting to a higher consciousness. Be okay with being in the unknown because when we're in the unknown, that is where we do our most growth work. That is where we push and challenge and raise ourselves up into a new, a new strength, a new part of our chapter. This week, we also have Mercury stationing retrograde that happens on April 1st, right in the heart of this eclipse portal. So Mercury, Mercury is going to do a couple of things. One, it's going to slow things down. It's going to make us feel a little bit more kind of that mental fogginess, that confusion, that uncertainty, not really knowing where we stand. That energy is going to really rise up with that Mercury retrograde. We also want to be a little bit mindful about making long-term commitments or uh, signing contracts during this time, especially because remember, we're between states of consciousness. We don't know what's on the other side of that. We're not going to know how we feel. We're not going to know, um, you know, the information that we need to. So it's really important to work with these cosmic energies by slowing down, taking our time and using this kind of limbo in between eclipses the addition of Mercury retrograde, using that time to just explore, to feel into things, to sit with whatever is coming up for us and to know that even though things might feel foggy on our in our external world, we can go within and allow clarity to arise from our internal world. So this is a great time to go within, to sit with yourself, to sit with your feelings, to journal, to work on the self because our outer world so much is in flux, so much is in transformation. If we go back to that analogy of the caterpillar in the cocoon, it's a perfect time to retreat, to go within, to get to know ourselves rather than focusing on what's happening around us. We also are starting to get, so on uh, April 5th, uh, Venus moves into Aries. So now we have what's known as a stellium or a lineup of planets in the sign of Aries. As we get closer to um, the eclipse, the moon will move into Aries. Of course, the sun is in Aries. We have Venus in Aries. We have Mercury in Aries. We have Eris in Aries and Chiron in Aries. So this is a lot of strong Aries energy. So while all of the eclipse energies are circling, yes, we have that Mercury retrograde. This strong Aries energy is kind of calling us. It's a, It will be subtle and then it will build as we get closer to the eclipse. But it's kind of calling us to step into our independence, to step into our authenticity, to step into our warrior selves, to find the confidence. It almost feels like 
We're being called to build our confidence, to build our feelings of self-worth and self-esteem because when we get to that eclipse, a door is going to open, an opportunity is going to present itself and we're going to want that power and that strength to say yes or to say no or to walk forward, to take that leap of faith. We're going to want to know ourselves, we're going to want to feel that confidence to know what to do when that opportunity and when that door opens for us under that eclipse. So this is a good week to focus on building your confidence. What makes you feel confident? What makes you feel in charge? What makes you feel um brave and strong and activating what allows you to activate that inner warrior not from a place of um like i need to do this to get through whatever it is that i'm going through and maybe that is for some of us we kind of have to put on that warrior mask just to soldier through whatever's come up for us but if we're not in that state how can we allow that warrior to come up strong centered in control but also open and feeling powerful. So that's something to think about as we move through this week. How can we raise our confidence, raise our inner spirit, raise our um, inner warrior and have it come out in a healthy way, not through our distressed nervous system, but through an empowered one. Something to think about, um, but just be where you're at. Eclipses are always highly transformative times of year. So just trust in the process. Don't be too hard on yourself. And as we get closer um, to that eclipse, you might be hearing and um, hearing other people talk about, oh, it's a great time to manifest. Yes, it is. It is a wonderful time to manifest. But I want to encourage you to use this time now before the eclipse to really feel, explore, get to know yourself, get to know how you're feeling. Unlock a new layer of authenticity. So when that eclipse comes, you can be sure and confident and aligned with what you want and who you are because we do our most powerful manifesting when we put out into the world who we are and that aligns with what we want because we never get really what we want. We always get kind of a mirror of who we are. So that's what you want to work on. All right. I hope you found that helpful. I know I gave a lot of information and I know it is a little bit of an overwhelming time. So just take of it what you will leave what doesn't resonate, hold on to what does, use this time to explore and feel these energies for yourself. I'm Tanaz from foreverconscious.com. Thank you so much.